Hey guys, it's Ben of Cow from GE Tracker, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the suggested items tool. Now, with this tool, you're going to find items that have a lower trade volume, and for that reason, you should start saving some slots at the Grand Exchange for more long term type flips. What I mean by that is these flips should take maybe a couple of hours to a couple of days to take place. And even if you're a merchant that wants to sit at the Grand Exchange and flip in as many items as they possibly can in one hour, you should save a slot or two for some of these items. Now, I'm only going to go over the basics um, with this tool and showing you how to use the filter settings so you can start comparing items in the table and then checking price margins in game, looking at price graphs, looking at trade volume graphs, and then based on all that knowledge that you have in front of you, start figuring out which item you're going to pick. Now you can see here I have a screenshot of three items that I checked in game for their price margins and then later in this video I'll show you why I picked one item as opposed to the other items. So let's get right into it. Alright guys so this is what your suggested item tool is going to look like and you can find this tool under flip finder and it's going to be the first link. Now if you're a free user though you're going to notice that you're only going to be given five items every 10 minutes. So when you mess with these filter settings up here, you're going to want to make the best use of that and make sure you pick a price range that works for you. However, if you're a premium user, you're going to be shown 50 items at any given time and you're going to refresh this table as many times as you want. Now, if I click on the filter settings up here, you're going to see a list of options to give this table um, some input on what you want to see. Now, since we're only going over the basics in this, I only, guys, I only want you guys to focus on the price minimum and the price maximum. Now, as an example for this channel and you know what I'm going to be flipping for, as an example for you guys, um, I only started off with 1.5 million because I feel like anyone can save up to 1.5 million. So even who's someone who's new can relate to this. Um, so earlier using this tool, I actually flipped Sarah Doman's light. You know, don't worry about this earlier. I kind of, I don't know what happened, but earlier I flipped Sarah Doman's light and I bought them for around 135,000 each and I sold them back for 197,000 each. You know, starting at about 1.5 million and then almost getting back 2.2 million. And then right now, I'm trying to flip Carol's crossbow, but I'll get into that later in this video. Okay, so since I only have around 2 million, I'm going to put in here 100,000 and 1 million. And what you notice is you can write this in shorthand. You don't have to write out the number in full, which is good. But you should keep in mind, you can't keep these blank. So. If you just clear out the numbers for price men, thinking this table doesn't have any value for it, so it's just from price men, it's not gonna like it, so you're not gonna be able to save it, okay? So you have to give it a value, but just because you're, even though you're giving it a value though, anytime you log in, it's gonna save that value. So if you come in here and the table doesn't show the price range that you set it at, all you'd have to do is click on your filter settings and those numbers will still be there. Um, so you just have to click save filter and then the table will refresh and show you the items that you had saved before. Or we'll actually it'll show you a new list of items but it'll save that number um, for that price range. Um, and I'm just gonna be clicking on this every now and then to make sure I don't log out. Um, okay, so if you look at this table here, you're gonna be showing a list of data for each item you know, their current offer price, their current selling price, how much you might be able to make, you know, the return on investment you could make on this, um, how much is this trading per hour, and then the buy-sell ratio. Uh, some items have their GE limits listed, but not all of them do. And if you like an item and you want to keep an eye on one specific item for a long period of time, then you can always favorite it. And if you do, it'll start, um, it'll turn into a blue star for you. And then you'll be able to find your favorite items under your dashboard. Um, but using this table, if I wanted to find the highest profit po possible, then I would just click on this table right here. 
Now the first time I click on it, it's going to show me the least profitable to highest profitable items first. Now I don't want that, so I'm just going to click it again, and it's going to show me the highest profitable to least profitable. Now one thing you're going to notice is with, with the price range that I put at, and because these items have such a low transaction volume, I'm probably going to be presented with items that are more cosmetic, you know, items that don't have a real big use in the game. There's not really a big demand for it, so I shouldn't expect to see huge numbers here for the buying and selling quantity. Now, if I had more money, say I had 100 million and I wanted to increase this price range, I'd increase this price range to about 20 million. And I'd hit enter, work with this um, table here, and then then it'd be shown a list of different items that are also in that price range. And you're gonna be seeing at a higher value, more PVM like gear, you know, stuff that has more of a demand and use. And there's whole concepts we can get into in terms of, you know, long-term investments with um, updates and PVM gear and changes to the game, but we'll save that for another video. I uh, just wanted to show you guys that with this table, depending upon how much you have, you're going to be able to make money easier um, the more you know and the more you have. Okay. Um, and what you're al we're also going to notice is with a higher valued item, you're going to see these ROIs being a lot smaller, but the profit is still going to be huge. So if I went back to what I was previously, to 1 million, in order to make that 250,000 or, or 100,000, I'm gonna basically almost have to double the price to, in that flip in order to make something similar. And in order for that to happen, I'm probably gonna have to wait a while. You know, if you see an item that has a 50% or 40% ROI, I'm more than likely going to have to wait a couple of days for that item to flip. Um, so for that reason, if you want to flip those, you're going to have to prepare for that. But personally for me, I'm not going to choose those. Um, but why don't we go over the Sarah Doman's Light that I picked earlier and see why I might have picked that. Sarah Doman's Light. Okay, so you're gonna be seeing, um, after you click on one of these items in the table, it's gonna show you this. It's gonna take you to that specific items page. And it's gonna give you a little bit more information, you know, the price graph and the, um, the trading graph. Um, so it's gonna show you the average price, the average offer price, and the average selling price. And this is showing you that right now, it's, it's hitting its peak because the approximate profit right now is negative. So there's a trend right now in the community where people are paying too much and this item should see a decrease pretty soon. So if you were gonna try and flip this, you would need to keep that in mind and start putting the value much lower than what is being shown right now. Um, but for beginners, if you saw a negative value, I would stay away from that. Um, but I can go over that, I can go over that concept in a different video on how to capitalize on downward trends like this. Um, it's not always profitable, but sometimes an item is, and with this item, this is very common. So this would be an item that I would profit off of this kind of downward trend. Um, okay. so. Looking at the price graph, you're going to notice that you're going to have different time frames here. You can look up at a day, a week, month, quarter, and up to a year. Now, one thing that's unique about GE Tracker is that we're the only um, tool out there that shows the price graph going back to a year. So if there's any yearly trends, you're going to spot them. And you're not going to spot them anywhere else. Um, and there are certainly items out there that you're gonna see some of these trends. Now, what you might have noticed with when I clicked on the yearly and quarterly graph is 
there was a dip that you didn't see previously. You wouldn't have seen this if you were using any other tool. And that's really cool because you wouldn't have seen that kind of trend. Um, but since this is a short term flipping kind of video, we want to look more towards the week and day time frame. Now, what you're going to notice with this item is during the week and day, there's a huge fluctuation in price between low and high, and it's pretty consistent. So, it, which means I could probably flip this all week long and make a decent profit. You know, um, when I was flipping this earlier, I could I could still be flipping it now. But by the time this is this video is released, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of you guys out there flipping this. So. The profit margins on that is probably going to go down for the for a while, so I'm probably going to have to move on to something else, and that's why I've been focusing on more fast, uh, faster flips, which I'll get over on, which I'll go over on this later on. Um, so, but with this price graph, you're going to notice these fluctuations, which is a good thing if you want to have um, that huge profit margin that I had. But you're gonna have to realize with these gaps you're gonna probably have to wait a while and when you look at this trading uh this trade volume graph it's just gonna um, further prove that because you're gonna notice that only maybe four or 20 of these are being sold in any given hour and it's gonna be on the lower end it's gonna be more like two or three sold at any given point in time so you're not going to flip this very quickly so if you do flip something like this you're gonna want to keep that in mind and maybe keep some other slots in, at the Grand Exchange for your faster flips. And this right here would be an example of, a, a, um, of an example of a faster flip. Okay, so using this tool, I found this earlier and it was showing me about a 20K profit margin. Maybe it'll show it here. Um, maybe it'll show it back in the table so I can show you guys. If not, oh yes, right here, okay. So earlier it was showing me 205 and about 220. So almost 20K profit per trade. Now what, you, what I want you guys to pay attention to, or what I want you guys to know when you guys are looking at this table is not to take this information at face value because that's wrong. Um, because I see a lot of people, when they use this tool, they think, okay, offer price, 209, maybe 210 to 216, and that's what I'm gonna flip it for. And that's wrong, because the market's dynamic and the market's always changing, and you should always be pushing for profit margins. You shouldn't be looking at this data and thinking, this is exactly what it is in game, because it's not. It's, it's accurate, and it's gonna help you find items that are profitable at that given point in time, but it's not gonna give you a pinpoint exact data on what that is gonna be trading for. Because there might be some guy in game already um, putting that item up for sale that hasn't um, that hasn't been bought yet. So it wouldn't be in this data yet. Um, so for that reason, you should always check price um, profit margins in game. Um, so if you look at this graph, you're gonna notice that it's more flat line. It's more of like a pancake. And if if you will, if you want to flip items on a quicker basis, you want to flip it uh, more often, like uh, maybe a couple of hours, maybe you waited on this for two hours or something like that. This would be something that you'd want to look for. You'd want to see something that's more pancake-like. So. I'm noticing that this is dipping down to 200,000 ish to 220,000 and then maybe a little bit more but that's a little rare it looks like so it looks like more like 230 to 220 mm. 210 230 okay so it actually looks like I got this at a good price at a good time because some of this is telling me that this was being this was selling at 230 earlier today 
for the Carol's crossbow. And I got it for 205, which is really good because that means I could sell it back for possibly I could sell it possibly back for 235k possibly. Let's see. Let's look at the weekly basis. Doesn't look like it goes above that. So maybe maybe just 230k is what I'll put it for. So that's good. Okay. So as a short-term flipper, that's what you're going to want to look for. You're going to want to look for more of those um, pancake-like flips. And what you'll notice here is the OS Buddy is also giving me its own price in game. Okay. So that could be telling me that I should put this at a higher price because if someone's impatient and they're also on OS Buddy and they see 231k, I might I should probably put this for you know 235k. You know I was, I was just gonna put this for 230k, but after seeing this, I'm gonna increase that and hopefully make more. So, um, so I'm hopefully I'm gonna go from a two million like investment to 2.3 million <clears throat> almost 2.4 million investment which is really good um, and those are the type of flips that you guys want to be looking for um, and for the examples that I showed you guys earlier um, oh and this is our discord chat um, if you guys don't know um, we have a discord chat so if you guys have any questions about items and games how to flip or just want to talk about RuneScape in general, um, we have that here, and it's a really nice community, and if there's no staff around to help you, there's always someone nice enough to help you out. Um, these guys are really nice, and um, it's a really good community to be a part of, so you should really join it. Um, but for the examples, let's see. Okay. For these examples, for the Miss Battle staff, I didn't pick this item because that margin was rare. That margin was showing me on the graph that it simply wasn't happening. Um, it happened maybe once or twice a week, maybe in a day. And that wasn't enough for me to justify trying to buy 10 or 11 of these. Um, and for the dragging axe, I didn't buy this one either um, simply because the profit margin was too small. You know, I didn't want to make 4,000 on an item. And given that it's a Dragon Axe, people already know how much this is worth. You know, it's already been sold and bought so much that that price isn't really going to budge. So there's really not much there for me to go for. Um, but the Carol's Crossbow was like a nice mix in between the two, but also being a nice um, quick flip. So this, this is probably not going to sell um, by the time this video is over as it is because I'm trying to go for the higher end of this um, but if this video is released uh, before I end up flipping this I'm probably gonna have to cut back on my on my last my losses here or still try and profit off of this hopefully um, so yeah so that's the tool here guys and if you guys have any questions any feedback um, you know, let me know in the Discord chat, in the comments. Um, you know, this is my first video ever creating any type of YouTube content. So if you guys have any suggestions, you know, what you guys want to see. You guys want to see maybe an hour of me flipping using a specific tool. Uh, maybe you guys want to see me just flipping in general. If you guys want to talk about some concepts about, concepts about long-term flipping. You know, I don't know. You know, whatever you guys... Um, want me to talk about you know let me know in the comments below you know other than that um, leave a like and a comment and you know share this with your friends you know good luck matching and then till next time <laughs>